Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is sponsored by ToyHacks.com. They're your one-stop shop for reproduction decals for your vintage G1 Transformers and upgrade decals for your modern bots. Weaponry for your figures from the Toy Hacks Armory and great looking backdrops for your display from Toy Stages. And when you visit ToyHacks.com, make sure and use my monthly promo code to save 15% off your order. So yes, 15% off when you use my promo code right here. Right here. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now. On to the video. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another unboxing video. I have got so much stuff over the last week that I thought it would be fun just to show it off for you guys. And I want to apologize for my lack of content this month. Not only has there been no new figures coming out. I mean, I've got a lot of stuff on pre-order, but nothing due in until next month. I have been extremely busy with family stuff. And Dylan and I decided to do our own channel together called Jeepin' and Eatin', where we hop in the Jeep and go to different restaurants and eat and video it. So we've done that and we've had fun doing that. And if you want to check out that video channel or my new channel, Jeepin' and Eatin', then we'll put a link in the description above. So I hope everyone who's a daddy bot had a very happy Father's Day this weekend. We had an absolute blast. My brother came in, uh, there was a renaissance fair in town, there was a food truck festival in town, so we went and enjoyed all that. I got a brand new arcade machine for my home arcade, thanks to a great deal uh, at Best Buy. Unfortunately, it couldn't be shipped to me, so I had to order it in Ohio, and then my brother brought it over to me, so glad to have a new cabinet in the house. Uh, what else is going on? Ah, uh, that's it, just been extremely busy. So. Without further ado, let's get into all the goodies I want to show off for you guys. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now the first few things I'm going to show off are already unboxed. I went to GameStop with Dylan to get him a Fortnite V-Buck card and happened to find the Gamer Edition Barricade. I didn't pre-order him, I pre-ordered Prime, but just do, really didn't like the looks of him and Bumblebee. But once I got a look at him in the box here, he looks pretty cool, so we will find out later on when I review him. Next up, I got in from TF Safari. The Journey of the Rebirth, a, their version of Galvatron, or whatever this company's name is, version of Galvatron. I think it was called Making Friends, which is one of the funniest names of the company <laughs> I've heard in a while. Making Friends Galvatron. So I got that, and I picked up Sword Dancer. Now, I was originally picking up Sword Dancer for a friend of mine, a friend of the channel, and once I got this one, I figured, what the hell, I'll get me one as well. So I got those. Oh, uh, let's see. Next up, Father's Day presents. Dylan knows, or <clears throat> actually my wife knows, not to buy me any Transformers because there's a good chance I already have them. So for Father's Day, I got quite the collection of Hawaiian shirts. I made a joke on Facebook a few weeks ago that I was going to start bringing the Hawaiian shirt back. I've got three of them right now, and now I have four more. So yes, if I'm not wearing my black Patriot Prime t-shirt, I'll be wearing Hawaiian shirts. So that is from Dylan and the wife. Let's see. My brother came in, and one of the things he got me was an original Empire Strikes Back metal lunchbox. This is the exact lunchbox I had as a kid. Now I still have mine, but it is beat up all to hell. This one is in immaculate shape. I'm not sure where he found it. He just said he did. He remembered I had this and picked it up for me. And what's really cool, this one stuck. 
This one came with the thermos and he found a top spin for me wherever he got the lunch box. He said, I know you probably already have him, but you do enjoy repairing these old bots and making them look like new. So now I have a new project box. So Michael, thank you so much. All right, let's get to unboxing goodies right now. And first up, I hope I don't get these all mixed up. This is a package from longtime subscriber Shane High, the individual I bought the sword dancer for. So he keeps asking me, did you open up the box? Did you open up the box? I'm like, no, I want to do an unboxing video. So let's open this up right now. I've got my handy dandy little exacto knife thing which is about as sharp as a twinkie so hopefully this i can get this open and don't cut myself it's really good on tape but <laughs> it doesn't really open much anything else i need to get some more, more blades for it i've had this thing for years all right the box is open full of bubble wrap shane always packs so well so our first bubble wrapped pack of goodness here is Ah, Double Dealer's Rocket Launchers. I lost mine, and he said he had an extra, so he sent the Double Dealer Rocket Launchers. So thank you very much, Shane. And, oh, the Beast Alliance Target Masters. We've got Cheetor and Rhinox. I'm looking forward to checking Rhinox out because he turns into a butt gun. So I've got those two. Oh, there's more. There is more. Oh, it's more of the uh, Beast War, not Beast Wars, Rise of the Beast Target Masters. We got Skull Cruncher and Optimus Primal. So I've got, I think that may be the whole set. That's awesome. Thanks, Shane. And lastly, Little Box. Oh, okay. I remember what these are. This, if I can get them out, this is the Sunstreaker, Earthrise Sunstreaker Gap Filler Set. Awesome. Can't wait to get those attached. Shane, thank you so much. Big old truck going by. You guys ask why I, I put music in my videos anymore? I have traffic that goes by all the time and helps drown out all the traffic noise. So Shane, once again, thank you so much. Next up, oh, what is this? Oh, this, I believe, comes from subscribe. I peeled all the addresses off ahead of time. <laughs> I should have wrote down who they were from. This, I believe, is from my subscriber and channel member, Jonas22. I recently had a uh, meet the member chat with him, and he uh, sent this to me. I believe I remember what it is. <laughs> this blade sucks there we go all right what is this oh no i'm sorry this isn't from jonas this is something i got off ebay if you guys recall i broke my g1 vortex a couple weeks ago i was able to fix him but i wasn't sure if i was gonna be able to fix him or not or you know be scared to transform him so I got the uh, R.I.D. Rotor to be my Vortex stunt double in my Generation 1 Combaticons review. So that came from eBay. So I better make sure and leave the guy some feedback because he looks to be in really good shape. Let's find out. Well, there's a plus. The arm's already popped right out. Please, God, don't break. <laughs> that was horrible. I wasn't filming when I broke my Vortex. But you probably heard me cussing. Oh yeah, transformed. No problem. So he may be my stunt double for my uh, Combaticons review. So, what was it? Rotor. Yeah, Rotor is his name. So put him to the side. This one is the one from Jonas22. I remember what it is now. It should be a little bigger, bigger bot bigger item so Jonas giving you another shout out he told me that he had an extra one of these and he was going to send this to me to do whatever I wanted to with it I can review it I can keep it I could do a giveaway with it so keep uh, stay tuned 
This is the new, what do they call Transformers the movie, Generation 1 Hound, the reissue or whatever. I have not seen this. The only uh, reissue of these figures they have in my local Walmart is Starscream. I haven't seen this yet. That looks so good. I love the packaging. Even though it's the closed box, you can't see what you're getting. The artwork looks really, really good. In the back of the package, you got the product shots, the tech specs and everything. The only complaint I have with this, just because of what I've seen with the pictures, why don't they give us chrome anymore? He's got the plain plastic guns. So, Jonas, thank you so much. So in the comments, what do you think I should do with this? Keep it, review it, give it away. Let me know. All right. Two more boxes to go. I'm going to save this one for last. This one is from my buddy Brad. He sent this to me as an early birthday present. He uh, messaged me. He was at his local Target or Walmart. I forget which one. He says, do you have these yet? And I was like, I do not. Uh, if you would, please pick them up for me. He did. I asked him how much. He said, buddy, early birthday present. So, Brad, thank you. I went, went to open it, and I thought, no, let's do the unboxing. So, let's see. I didn't have my knife when I first started open, opening this, so I just brute force. I'm on. Ha ha. Yeah, I know what these are. I'm excited. The Legacy Core Class Dinobots Swoop and what's this guy's name? Scar. So these were figures I weren't or wasn't going to get. Because core class Dinobots, I thought they were kind of lame, but after getting slag and then I got sludge and slowly forming Volcanicus, I thought, what the hell, let's get them all. I did get a Grimlock. Oh, yeah. Grimlock's sitting right here. I still need to go over him. So I guess I just need one more and we're done. So that would be Snarl. So who knows when they're going to release him. So Brad, thank you so much. For those of you that don't know, my 50th birthday is coming up next month. I cannot believe I'm turning 50. Lord. But no wrinkles. The only gray I got is here on my face. So collecting toys keeps you looking young. All right. Last but not least, my brother really surprised me with this one. I was just overjoyed when I opened this up. And uh, I put it back in the box just for the sake of the video. But th this just absolutely made my day. He got me a graded Transformers issue number five. It's an 8.5. What's it say? I've never had a graded comic before. Transformers number five, Marvel Comics, uh, came out in June of 1985. Uh, white pages. So, yeah, it comes in a nice case and everything. And that is just awesome. I have to find somewhere to display it. Now, I want to take my issue number three that I have Bob Budiansky sign at TFCon and see if I can get that graded and put in one of these things because this is awesome. And there's a Zip Cream advertisement on the back. So yeah, Marvel knew that pimply faced kids were reading Transformer comics. So Michael, thank you. I love this. Absolutely love this. So guys, that is it for my unboxing, my gifts and buys and everything over the last uh, week. So I'm a little broke <laughs> for some of these things, but man, I cannot wait to get into these, to get to reviewing these and, you know, just having fun and playing with toys. I mean, you, you just can't go wrong with that. And that's coming from a uh, 49, almost 50 year old. Uh, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to all my current channel members because it is your support that helps keep this channel going. And for my members, keep an eye out. I will be doing another members-only Toy Hex giveaway again very, very soon. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hoo-ah!